Rachel Alarcon had always availed of the government's immunization programs for her children. Why not, she says, they're free. But that has not been the case for her youngest, who's just five months old. I do trust our local health workers, but Dengvaksha has me worried. My baby's healthy. I'm scared vaccines could cause problems. Dengvaksha is the world's first dengue vaccine. In 2016, the Philippine government launched a dengue immunization program that to date has covered more than 800,000 school children. But late last year, the Vaksha's manufacturer, Sanofi, warned that the vaccine could trigger severe illness among those who've never been exposed to the mosquito-borne virus. This caused fear and panic. But the health department says only three deaths so far can be linked to the Vaksha. What we have now is an acosal association, meaning it seems to be connected by the time frame by the disease uh, process and what happened to the patient. However, to establish that actual cause, we just need to do some more tests. The health department says the coverage rate, even for something as benign as deworming, has dropped more than 50 percent. In one of the regions covered by the dengue vaccination program, close to a third of the usual number of children getting routine vaccines are not receiving them. A measles outbreak in President Rodrigo Duterte's hometown of Davao, the health department says, could also be partially attributed to the scare. We just ask everybody to please not confuse Dengvaxia with the other immunization programs. Programs for polio, measles, you know, rubella, mumps. These are diseases that are ancient and should not, we should not be seeing them again. Baby girl. Diseases Rachel could already be protecting her child from had she not let the hysteria over Dengvaksha affect her. After all, a five-month-old is years away from being eligible for the dengue vaccine. Barnaby Lowe, CGTN, Manila.